Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and we have spent a precious few hours with this not pink Google Pixel 3 XL and we are going to give you our first impressions of the smartphone. Now just to reiterate the prices, the phone is available in two storage variants, the 64 GB storage variant priced at about 83,000 rupees and the 128 GB storage variant priced at 92,000 rupees. And here is a quick look of what we felt after using the smartphone for a little bit of time. Now the first thing that everyone at the Digit Test Lab was discussing was the material used for the back of the smartphone before we actually found out that it was glass. For a long time people thought that it was polycarbonate or some other material. It didn't feel like glass at all and it took us a while to believe that it was actually glass and we also propped it on a wireless charger to check for wireless charging. Now the soft feel of glass on the back of the smartphone is unique and feels great to the touch. It has a dual tone back same as what we saw on the previous generation Pixel smartphones. The color we have with us for review is the not pink variant. It's not not pink, it's more like light pink. The back of the phone curves into the frame giving it a comfortable grip. Moving to the front, the smartphone has a 6.3 inch display with an uncomfortably thick notch. Unlike the iPhone that justifies the notch with its face ID, the notch on the Pixel 3 XL has a second wide angle camera for clicking group selfies. This isn't the first time we've seen a dual camera set up on the front of a smartphone. But since this is a Google camera, we would like to give it a thorough shot before commenting. One thing we did notice up front is that the front camera definitely smoothens skin tones in portrait selfies. The front also houses a stereo speaker setup. We skimmed through some content on YouTube and Netflix and we found that the speaker at the bottom of the phone was a tad louder than the one at the earpiece and this made the audio sound biased towards one side of the smartphone. We will however test this further before judging. The rest of the connectivity remains the same. The USB Type-C port is at the bottom accompanied by the SIM tray. It's a single SIM smartphone. There is no expandable storage, but there is free unlimited online original quality storage for photos and videos uploaded from the Pixel 3 phone to Google Photos till January 31st, 2022. You have the power button and the volume rocker on the right exactly where they were on the Pixel 2. Now the 6.3 inch form factor makes the device easy to hold in one hand but you won't be able to reach all corners of the display. As far as the notch is concerned, it is rather big and can get annoying. While watching content, it won't come in your way unless you zoom in to YouTube videos. How this works with gaming and other apps is something we will tell you when we review the device. The Pixel 3 XL has a dual Pixel 12.2 megapixel camera at the back and a dual 8 megapixel camera setup in the front. We will comment on the performance of the camera in our review, but we can tell you that yes, the front camera does give you the ability to fit more people in the frame. It is targeted at selfie lovers and how well this works is another thing we will explore in the review. An interesting feature in the camera is Playgrounds, which essentially places AR characters Google calls play emojis, yes that's what they are called, in and around your surroundings while clicking an image. These play emojis also interact with you by mimicking actions or making familiar sounds. You could have Iron Man, for example, uh, be a part of your selfie posing next to you. This isn't something new but it's a fun element that you can play around with. The Pixel 3 XL runs on Android 9 Pi out of the box and this isn't the first time we've encountered the UI. You can always uh, log on to Digidotin and check out our experiences with the Pixel 2 XL running on Android 9. So there you have it guys, that was our first impressions of uh, the Google Pixel 3 XL smartphone. As always, you can let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. For more videos like this one, you can subscribe to our channel and also let us know in the comments what you would like us to talk about this phone in our review and we will do our best to include that as well. We will catch you in another video. It's goodbye for now.